Hi, this is Christina from BCTV and I'm here with one of the incredible presenters at Accelerate Montreal. It's Howard Linson, who many of you probably know. Uh, he was the founder of WallStrip.com and he's also the founder of Stock Twi Twit Tweets. Whatever you say. <laughs> Talk, oh, sorry, sorry. It's the end of the day. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're very lucky to have Howard and a lot of his colleagues here supporting our Montreal ecosystem. So what did you think of our day here at Accelerate Montreal? Well, it's a great city. Uh, everybody's been really nice. I'm born and raised in Toronto. Right. Canadian. So it's always <laughs> good to, you know, come to Montreal and tell right. all my Toronto friends that I'm in Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's treated me great and it's a great energy about startups here and it's about time. Great. Yeah. So, so what do you see that's impressive about our ecosystem or that needs to be tweaked a little bit better? Well, I think you can't rush this stuff. You know, Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley, but Montreal has this potential because it's very close, it's a very urban city. And uh, it's not up to the entrepreneurs sometimes, they can only do so much. It's about the ecosystem and it's about the government giving money and it's about people willing to take risk and reinvest them. So now you're in the second, third generation of internet companies and these people are not buying Porsches, like I said, they're not buying third homes. I mean, some do, but a lot more are just like, it's not about 10 cars, it's about 10 startups. Right. And whether that's good or bad, it's still way more productive to invest in 10 startups than 10 cars. Is that why you were saying we should have the developer and really invest our money back yeah. into the companies? Yeah, we, we had this financial leverage for 20 years where bankers were the cool people. Well, now it's like I have this saying, you know, punch a banker, hug a developer. Oops. <laughs> and, you know, we need a bubble in developers. Right now there's right. a shortage of people that code in Rails. If you go to a Rails party, just like you went to an investment bank or you went to an investment banking uh, party 10 years ago, it was full. Now if you go to a web developer uh, startup meeting, the only people there are people looking for web developers. Right. There's no web developers. So it's, an ex it's a good time to be an investor and a good time to be an entrepreneur. And to pick a point that you were talking about during your very interesting speech, foreplay, foreplay, foreplay? Yeah, so everybody's about location. <laughs> right. And, and location's important, obviously, but not to me, but it's important to more, more people than not. But in the social world, people need, need to learn, and Americans have done a, a bad job of this with respect to banking in the last 20 years. You've got to save, save, save. And for, by foreplay, I mean it's so easy to see someone that resonates with you on the web or Twitter or you know, Justin. You know, everybody is kind of accessible. But unless you have something very interesting to say, you should hold back. And you know, you know, you don't have to ask. Just because they're there doesn't mean you got to ask them or take something right. from them. You want to say something interesting. Yes. So hence foreplay. Women like foreplay. <laughs> and you and venture capitalists and like foreplay. Right. <laughs> and you had some fun advice about the board game Risk when it comes to our sector. Yeah. So I grew up in Toronto. I right. used to love Risk. I used to go to Muskoka, and all all summer we would play board games. And Risk for me it was just such a great game because. Didn't you know there's so much strategy involved, and it was as a kid you don't know what you're doing, but as you get older you go shit. I could start out in this little corner of the world and take over the world because the world is flat and uh, it's not round. So there really is a center of the world, and you have to protect all these boundaries. And the same thing in the startup world. If you start out in Europe, so if you start out trying to beat the incumbent, like if that's what you wake up doing, it's not going to happen. It's it happens. It's a miracle when it happens, but it usually starts out like popcorn, like a little kernel, right. and you apply enough pressure and heat, and then it could pop, but like you have to really apply pressure to, to, beat, a, to beat an incumbent, you got to apply a lot of pressure to like a, a, a weakness point. So I mean, it's, there's not a rocket science to it, I mean, it's, it's a lot of luck and mystery, but there is some, some path that you can do that's better than the other. Well, we're really fortunate to have your valuable advice, and I'm still a huge fan, so okay. thank you so much, Howard, for nice your time. You. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Montreal. Thank, thank you. you.